Hello, hello. Welcome to Reading Time. My name's Time, and this week we're reading Rainbow Fish and the Big Blue Well by Marcus Pfister. Let's get to reading. Rainbow Fish and the Big Blue Well is a children's picture book about a group of fish led by Rainbow Fish, who is in a few other books, who are happily eating krill until a big whale moves into their neighborhood. After a little while, the fish get a little scared of him and start to say mean things about him, which he hears and gets hurt. And so he chases them off. And ultimately, this big understanding leads to all of the krill disappearing. So Rainbow Fish decides it's time to talk to the whale and get everything sorted out. The whale and Rainbow Fish soon discover that it was just a big misunderstanding and they become quick friends and soon enough the whole disagreement is basically forgotten. This is a very cute book and a very quick read. I think it has some good messages and ideas in it and as such I am going to give it five stars. Along with that, there is no concerning content to be aware of, and I would put this at a preschool to second grade reading level, although those elementary schoolers might have a better time understanding the ideas behind the story than someone in preschool might. Now, what I really like about this book is the whole idea behind it of the importance to avoid judging others based on appearances or based on incomplete information. Because the well and the fish don't know each other, they jump to conclusions about each other and end up hurting and scaring one another. If, however, they had spoken to each other earlier on, that could have been avoided. But luckily, they were able to come together and become friends in the end. It can be easy to make judgments about others, especially if we don't know much about them. But it's a lot more rewarding and a lot better if we do get to know others, especially if they are different from us. In my opinion, learning about other cultures and other beliefs and even other ways of living can enrich one's life. Students could share times when they have become friends with others. This may also be a good opportunity to do a pen pal situation where students may have an opportunity to learn more about people from a different area than where they live. I remember having a pen pal back in elementary school and it was really cool and interesting to learn about his life and about his world. So I think it would be a great opportunity paired with this book as well. Now for the poster square for this week, we are right near the bottom with a well. And this one didn't really, really want to scratch off very well, so it's a little hard to see. Let me know what you think of Rainbow Fish and the Big Blue Well in the comments below. And if you have any other book recommendations or any other content recommendations. If you are not already, feel free to subscribe to the channel and follow me on Facebook or Instagram for updates about what I'm reading. And as always, have a marvelous week and a wonderful read.